uh, great Montreal food landmark is going to be celebrating its uh, 50th birthday this weekend. The St. Viator Bagel Bakery opened in 1957. Uh, it was opened by a fellow named Meyer Lukowitz, of whom there are uh, pictures and paintings all over the shop. He was a Polish Holocaust survivor, and uh, he ended up, through various twists and turns, being the partner of Joe Morena, who runs the bagel bakery now. Joe is now the uh, kind of the bagel tycoon of St. Viator. He's got three of his sons, uh, Robert, Niccolo, and Vince are in the business. It's not the uh, fanciest store in Montreal. It looks every bit of its 50 years. Uh, you walk in and on your right there's a funky old radiator next to a reasonably modern ATM machine and a wall covered with photos and plaques and newspaper stories of which there have been about a hundred written about the bagel bakery. Um, it's all pretty low tech. Uh, the guys are sliding wood planks in and out of the oven. That's how they manipulate the bagels and flip them about halfway through the 20 minute cooking process. And the oven is key, you know, when people talk about how difficult it is to duplicate Montreal bagels elsewhere. The reason, according to most, well, experts, they're not exactly chemists or physicists, they're just people who deal with bagels all the time, is that um, you've got a 50-year-old brick oven working there that is kind of shaped a certain way and lends a certain smokiness to the flavor that uh, can't be duplicated in places where they don't know how to build one or aren't allowed to use wood in uh, burning in their ovens, such as Toronto. Um, what gets to you about the place, in, to me anyway, is, is a sense of warmth, which is generated by the people who are all very friendly, and by the oven itself, and the smell, the smell is like no other. I mean, you, you walk in the door and you want to eat four of them. It's just a really great spot.